Hi there, my name is Eli and welcome back to my channel, Jack Elijah. And today we kind of have another double feature-esque sort of video. We are going to be going and talking about the new amped up Frankie Stein doll. Um, this doll was revealed and kind of went on pre-order months ago and finally shipped on Amazon. So a lot of us collectors just got them in like this past weekend. I'm so excited. I've been looking forward to this Frankie and I can't wait to rip into them and yeah, see what they're all about. Um, they have a new box shape as well with these skelettes around it and it is themed to their vanity. So this doll kind of has like two play elements, both like an onstage element where they're like rocking out to the guitar, but then they also come with a lot of accessories that is them getting like glammed up backstage and you can kind of see that in their box art. There is the vanity, and then that vanity is featured as like the box shape, which I think is a super cool detail. I love this box shape. I would love down the line to get a second one to keep in box because I, I can tell I'm going to love this doll. And um, this is an Indonesian Frankie, which I actually think is the superior Frankie. So yeah, I can't wait to open them and see what they're all about. But to pair with Amped Up, Amped Up Frankie, I felt like it was very apropos to also be reviewing monster ball cleo so monster ball cleo is a little bit of an older release this doll released back with monster ball like maybe two months ago and i do already have a monster ball cleo she's featured up there with a hairstyle that i gave her and the one that i bought at target like two months ago was the polypropylene version but recently some collectors have been finding that there is a saran variant for this doll that people have been getting off of amazon when they've been buying her which is a very strange, weird thing. Like, I don't know if this phenomenon has happened before. Um, I don't know. It's so strange for a doll to initially get released in Polly and then all of a sudden get an upgrade months later to Saran. But like, I'm not complaining. It's like a well welcomed upgrade. Like if this keeps happening, Mattel, I'll take it. Right. So it's like a weird thing that happened. But like I said, no complaints on my end, even though I already have a Polly version, I'll take the Saran one too. So I ordered this Cleo off Amazon, got the Saran version. Here they are. And how I checked was I kind of just like stuck my finger and like felt for their hair because I can tell. And I can also tell just by looking at the shade and the way it sits on their head that it's Saran. But this one had like a lopsided hairline, which I was not vibing with. And I ordered a replacement and I got the replacement in today through Amazon. And this one is also Saran but has a way better hairline. So this is the one that I'm gonna be keeping and opening. Now it just doesn't end there because I'm always up to something, let me just say that. And in my Target Circle offerings, I had a coupon that was like spend $60, save $10. And then I was thinking, well, there's nothing I really wanna buy right now that could equal $60. But then I was like, wait, I could just buy a Monster Ball Clio there and then take that Monster Ball Clio, the Poly version, and then return it to Amazon, keep the Saran version, and then get a little discount on the Clio in the end instead of paying full price. So I did just that. I went to Target, bought this Monster Ball Clio, which is the Poly version. They only had two, and both are polypropylene. And to hit the $60 threshold, I also bought like a Rainbow High coloring crate doll because I will be working on this for a future video. So it's like two birds, one stone, you know, I get two dolls that I want for a little bit of a discount, like instead of $30, they're 25 um, to hit the $60 threshold. I also bought like an energy drink. So yeah, but now I have that doll for 25 and the Saran version saved a little bit of money because every cent counts. And I do feel a little bit bad sending like a poly version back to Amazon, but it's not tampered with. It's just not the hair that is preferred, but is what it is. But yeah. I think it's it works out in the end because then I can also compare what the Saran version looks like compared to the Poly version. Kind of just give some side by side comparisons in box. So if you are a little bit unsure of what to be looking for, you can kind of hopefully get some pointers. And I'll show you this later, but there are some differences on the box as well. I don't know if those are going to turn out to be universal differences, but for the two I have in front of me, there's some differences. So I'm going to turn the box, uh, turn the box around, turn the camera around, show the differences and then unbox the dolls and we'll get into the review. So let's go. Okay. I will do out of box comparisons for Clio, but on the right is going to be the Saran version. And on the left is going to be the polypropylene version. And just in box alone, 
it is a little difficult to tell the difference. I think maybe the best way is to going to be looking at this bit of hair right here. So left poly, right saran. See how this hair primarily is this very deep, deep blue that's almost black shade. This color also shows up a lot in the Cora Clio that is also poly. Whereas this saran version right here, it's going to be mainly this like very electric, vivid blue. And this blend on the right, the saran version, is similar to the blend that just released in the Clio Denial Bejeweled Beauty like organizer, you know, kind of doll with the, the caboodle. <laughs> it is very similar to this color blend. So this, I think right here, comparing just this little bit of hair is going to be your easiest way to tell whether or not the doll is poly or saran. But if you're not that confident, the back of the boxes are also different. And first glance, the saran version has these two boxes right here. And the monsterhigh.com in hot pink is also a little bit lower compared to the poly version. See how that's placed higher up, the monsterhigh.com. And those two extra boxes aren't there. So this version, Saran. This version, Polly. If you're not sure, check for the hair blend. The deep, almost midnight blue is Polly. The more electric blue is Saran. It is very hard to just tail, oh my god, tail, tell by looking at them from the front. But here, boom, boom. So yeah, good luck finding her if you're interested. I think this is super cool, super random for Monster High to do something like this. But hey, if this is just them trying to rectify their low quality hair, thanks Mattel. Thanks for listening to us because even though I already have a poly Cleo Denial, I will take a second one because I love saran and i love cleo that much so yeah let's get into opening her and then see what she's all about okay they are unboxed let's get into it we're going to start off with amped up frankie and then we'll move into the new monster ball saran cleo but before we get into frankie and all of their accessories i did want to mention that they were teased to us in Ultimate Secrets Series 2, Fear Descent. In their little locker room panel, they had the blow dryer, their little tote bag, um, even their ring is right there that comes in this set. And then on their eye coffin, you can even see them rocking out on their guitar. So something fun is, you know, Monster High does leave little Easter eggs like that for us. So this was leading up to this doll. And here is said tote that they come with. I noticed that this had a little, like, I don't know, contraption right here. And the only thing I could fit into it was this um, Polaroid picture of Frankie, Claudine, and Draculaura. And I tried to fit the eye coffin in there because it looks like it would fit their eye coffin. But the only thing I could get in there was this little Polaroid, which I think is like so cute like they love their friends so much that they just like lug them around kind of reminds me of, like k-pop how people put like photo cards in their like iphones and stuff like that i don't know i thought that was a super cool touch um there's a little lightning bolt right there you can see a zipper detail and then in this you can put a lot of their accessories so a lot of the accessories are designed to like theme to them getting glammed up for show so you get two Sorry, there's like a hair on this. I don't know how. I'm trying to get it off. You get two hair clips. Let's see. It's not showing. Okay. Um, there's like nowhere in the artwork that shows them wearing these hair clips, but you know, maybe to pull their hair back while they get glammed up, they would wear these. I don't really plan on using these, but it's cool that we get them. But you get those. You get the blow dryer. It's pretty cool. It's a fun little accessory. You also get this in Neon Frights Frankie. So this accessory will show up in that set as well in the new Neon Frights Ultimate Secret series. You get a little comb in this like really cool translucent neon green. It kind of matches the same plastic their comb is in. Um, yeah, I really like this detail, this accessory. You get, of course, an eye coffin 
And what does it say? Let's focus. Come on, block Frankie out. There we go. Looks like they're just texting maybe Cleo about the show with emojis. <laughs> and then uh, they get some fuel, maybe some sort of form of like sports drink or water. There's a lot of water droplets. So yes, dehydrated for the show. And then they get some uh, hairspray. Oh, I'm struggling here. One second. Okay, some hairspray. It looks like it says bolt hold hairspray, but it almost looked like this was implied to like color their hair pink. I'm not sure if that's what the implication was, but the cap does come off and has a little spot for them to hold it if you so choose. Then they get, I think this is so cute, a little vanity handheld mirror. The mirror is not, you know, the best quality, of course, but it's in the shape of a skullette with some spiderweb details. I love this. Like, I could totally see Hot Topics on this down the line. And then last accessory they come with is just like some sour gummy candy. So, but yeah, it's really cool. You can stuff all of that stuff in their tote, which I'm doing real quick off camera to show you. Here we go. It literally all fits in there with the little Polaroid. So pretty cool. I think it adds some cool play potential for this doll, like backstage and on stage kind of potential. And then here is said Frankie. This face screening is the Indonesian version. They come with these really cool neon green, like screw earrings, neon pink lips. I love this lightning bolt makeup. It's very like David Bowie, if you're like a millennial like me, very Kesha inspired. And their eyeshadow is so cool. This electric blue. It's not like an ombre. It's, it's very like one blue to the next blue. I wouldn't call it an ombre, but I love it. I love this face so much. Their hair is box hair, but it is Saran. So thank you, Mattel. I appreciate it. And this is our first time in G3 getting some pink in their hair. I love the inclusion of pink. It's kind of like giving us like trans flag right here which i love and then they have this like black section that is tied in the back right there with a little rubber band this i find that this hairdo is you know not the easiest to replicate so if you do plan on just keeping it be careful when you wash it not to mess this up mine is pretty good though like it's really nice then they come with this pair this pair of like um headphones with spikes on the top, looks like some chain detailing um, on the front and back. It's like double layered. Can't really show that. There we go. And then I love this detail right here with these like lightning bolts. It's so cool. It creates an awesome silhouette for Frankie. Um, there's even a heart detail there. I love this accessory. It is so sick. So it is tied in um, with rubber bands. It's not tea tied, so you can just take the rubber bands off, but for now, I'm keeping it there before I wash them. Then they come with a guitar that you can have them hold as such. Let me see. Yeah, their hand fits in it and they hold the guitar. But we'll move it to show their clothes. So they come with this silver, almost like lame jacket with puff sleeves. We've seen these puff sleeves now in G3 a couple times, but I still like it. And we've seen this fabric as well. And then they have this chain sort of like plastic corset. Is that what you call it? Or harness? I think it's called a harness. And then plastic collar tie. We've gotten this in green, I think, in um coffee, coffin break, Frankie. But this is a recolor. But I love this accessory and I'll take it. Then underneath all of this, they are just wearing a simple like leather tee under there. It looks asymmetrical. At least I think it's asymmetrical. And then in their accessories, they come with a little green zap ring as well as this bracelet this bracelet you actually have to take the hand off to put on it is like one solid piece so you can't just like put it on them without removing the hand and it has a little green lightning bolt there then they are wearing um i think the ring just flung it did i'll get that later then they're wearing this pair of biker shorts and also like a pleathery material almost like a vinyl with these really vivid blue lightning bolts. I really like it. This blue matches really well to their eyeshadow and even their hair. 
I feel like the color matching on this doll is really, really good. Because this blue is different than the typical Frankie blue. Like, the typical Frankie blue is a little bit lighter than this. Um, so, yeah. We're getting a little bit of different hair shades. And then these boots. I know a lot of y'all are sick of ombre boots. I'm not sick of it. But I love that we finally got some paint detail. So I don't have to do it myself. <laughs> they are so cool. I love these boots. I love that they managed... To still do an asymmetrical look that highlights Frankie's prosthetic leg but still have them be the same length in the past you've gotten asymmetrical where this one's longer and this one's shorter but i like that it's still asymmetrical but still highlights their leg this is like maybe my favorite frankie boot we've gotten i love the blue the pink ombre and there's even a subtle purple right there and then here is the heel oh my gosh so sick this one is still a little loose, like see like that. It's not as wobbly as Fearadescent, but it is a little bit of a loose um, plastic material because if it was stiff, this would snap. So it has to be a little bit um, bendy like that because this is such like a small detail. If it was just a stiff plastic, a lot of kids would snap this off. So yeah, I love these boots. They tie the look in so well. And then they have a Kitar accessory that also has a pink to blue ombre with some green detailing there. I love this, like, I don't even know what this is, like motherboard kind of circuitry detail. It is so cool. It says Stein right there. It's upside down, but that says Stein. It isn't really anything on the back, but it even has like a clear vinyl strap. Like, I just have to say, for $25 this doll is amazing like low-key it almost feels better than like what we got from monster ball and it's a cheaper price point like how it's only 25 dollars, i don't know but i'm not complaining because like this needs to be the standard saran hair beautiful conceptual color scheme amazing unique face up like i know a lot of people kind of feel like this frankie feels like repeated pieces like we do get a lot of frankie and biker shorts and like we've seen this tie and we've seen a harness like it's not something we haven't seen before but it's kind of restyled and redone up in a really unique way i love this headset like the headphones i really love them i also love the pop of green that we get here in the ring in the earrings even on the bracelet and the guitar like Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with them. They are, I think, the best Frankie. I'm just going to go ahead and say that. I even love the neon pink lip. I know a lot of people don't like the pink lip on Frankie, but I think in this instant, boom, it works so well. And so, yeah, we're going to move on and talk about Cleo, but we will wash their hair and get this hair to a better state before the end of this video, just because I like to show the dolls off in their like most actualized state the way they're going to be sitting on my shelf so we're not quite done with them yet but let's move on to monster ball cleo okay so monster ball cleo is going to be less of like a comprehensive review of the doll if you are looking for that um we are mainly just going to be talking about the hair and the difference between the saran hair it's kind of like the most recent discovery this doll's been out for some while, and yeah, we're just going to mainly focus on that. So, oops. She did come with, you know, the assortment of Monster Ball accessories that you get. This gorgeous crown and scepter, a little makeup compact, these cupcakes, and a purse. And some tongs for the cupcakes. But yeah, we're not really going to be talking about that. Here they are. We're just going to throw that aside. Okay, let's get straight into Cleo and their hair. Um, obsessed. Look, oh my gosh, even this tinsel looks gorgeous. Oh yeah, I love this tinsel. I'm going to be so delicate when I wash them. But this is the Saran version. This gorgeous, vivid, electric blue with some like lighter blue highlights. Oh my gosh, it is beautiful. I am so happy that Mattel gave us this. Like, what did we do to deserve this? I don't know, but thank you, Mattel. Thank you so much. I have heavily restyled my original Monster Ball Cleo. Like, I just went experimental. 
gave her these like little unique bangs. Then I put the tattoo that the golden glam set case came with on her bangs because I was just feeling it, you know? And I think she kind of rocks it low key. I do. Um, but this is Polly. And I wanted to give her bangs because I've never given a doll with Polly hair bangs and I wanted to see how it performed. Not great. <laughs> Look at them. They're not my favorite. Look how far they're hanging off the head. Um, but you can just tell, like, similar to Corcleo, Polly is, like, puffy. Like, the hair is just, like, is very coarse and puffy. And this is a lot more of this, like, deeper blue shade. You see that? That is going to be the majority of the Polly doll's hair color. That shade right there compared to the saran version it's this like bright vivid electric blue like that and if we were to compare that to other cleos of the past here is a core cleo that is also poly and similarly is predominantly this shade of blue there is going to be those like highlights on the perimeter of their hair, but in like the core of their hair, once you move it around and move past these little blue highlights, it is mainly this shade. And this matches this. Now, when we compare that, if you have the Golden Glam Cleo, which I customized mine, gave them pigtails, this is the Saran Golden Glam Cleo that has. The more electric saran like this shade and this shade matches this shade do you see that i do think the tinsel is different just looking at it like i don't know if you can tell but this tinsel that came with the golden glam is a little bit more like hmm this is like monster ball claudine tinsel whereas this tinsel on the new monster ball saran version is it just looks different hmm it could be the same but i'm telling you it, it looks slightly different it's beautiful tinsel like it looks gorgeous and i can't wait to wash it and see what it looks like after a good wash but yeah it just looks slightly different than that tinsel just off of first glance so yeah these two saran hair performs and looks the same this one and core cleo poly this deep deep blue shade that is how you're gonna tell i did notice that when i did this one's hair this doll should have a middle part so when i wash their hair i'm actually going to take down this section and see if they also have a middle part and see how she looks after a good wash but yeah, like I said, this isn't a really a comprehensive review of the doll. This is really just pointing out the new hair and the differences, how it compares to past Cleos, what to be on the lookout for. And yeah, I'm happy with her. Oof. I also think this edition of Monster Ball with Saran just feels right to me personally because um, Draculaura... Dracula's hidden. Draculaura, Laguna, and Claudine all had Saran hair. So it just felt weird that they gave us Cleo with poly hair. Like, why did Cleo get excluded like that? You know what I mean? Like, they, they don't deserve that. So to then get <laughs> Cleo and Saran, it's like, oh my gosh. Monster Ball really just became, like, the best G3 line with this, this doll alone. Like, Claudine, Monster Ball is already the best Claudine doll. Like, let's just give her some some love. First G3 with Saran. Oops, that purse always falls. The most beautiful hair blend. This Claudine, Chef's Kiss. Best Claudine. One of the best G3 dolls, let alone Claudine. Let alone Monster Ball. I got an extra because I loved her that much. And like, do you... Once again, the purse is falling. <laughs> do you see this hair? Um, and I also love this tinsel. This doll, I want like 10 of this Claudine. When Monster Ball goes on sale, I'm just letting you know, I'm snatching up as many of this doll as I can get. If they're like $12 a piece, I'm going to have a Claudine army. 
Just fair warning. Fair warning now. And then, oopsie. I think Laguna's Saran is fine. I haven't done much to mine. I'd give her this little restyle. I think she's kind of cute. But she has Tinsel. Love the Tinsel. Um, Laguna always gets Saran. I mean, she always looks out like that. And I think her hair is gorgeous. And I love the little bit. I changed her pony, her high pony. I just love her. She has so much attitude. And then Draculaura, I did detinsel and give her pigtails. And I kind of have her posing like this because I love the back of her dress. But yeah, gorgeous Saran. What we're used to from Draculaura to be expected. I mean, it's Draculaura. Mattel loves her. So of course she's going to come out on top. But yeah, I just think Monster Ball is the best G3 line. And now with this Saran Cleo, we're really eating here. <laughs> so thank you, Mattel. I'm going to now wash these two dolls, come back and see what they look like with nicer, cleaner hair. So let's do that. Okay, we are back. I finished washing um, and conditioning Frankie's hair and Cleo's hair. I did a boil wash on both. And yeah, I just like nice, clean, silky Saran hair. So I went through those links tonight to get that figured out. And I did learn a couple things. So Frankie's headphones are tea tied to their head at the very top. There was one tea tie that I had to take off um, and they aren't the most like secure. They just kind of sit ever so slightly. But I mean, if they're on a shelf, it'll be fine. But yeah, they're not like super snug to Frankie's head. And this hairstyle with these like little front bangs that are like pinned back. See, you see how easy those headphones fall? Um, it's just not the most like easy hairstyle to recreate. Um, I had experience because I did it with Gulak Skulia. So like, you know, but it's just difficult. And like, I don't know, it's awkward to just have it, those black tendrils like loose. So I do like it like this, but it's just a tough hairstyle. And then I think it also looks kind of funny <laughs> without the headphones. It's definitely like a hairstyle that benefits from a head accessory i'm like struggling to get it on one-handed but yeah they're also really like flimsy plastic you see that it's not very sturdy so i think that's also why it's not like staying on the best but um i do like them and i think they need them to kind of complete the look but yeah okay i maybe i'll rubber band them who knows speaking of rubber banding i did rubber band this ring because it kept falling off so that is rubber banded to them so it's secure and yeah, I really like the guitar accessory. I just love this doll all together. And I highly recommend them. Like, I think they're the best Frankie of G3. Love the color scheme. Love the hair. Side glance, the face up, just mm, the boots, the saran. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So we'll, we'll get that later. But yeah, definitely recommend this Frankie. And I think they're going to pair so well with Monster Ball Cleo. Also, I don't think I mentioned this, but... um. Amped up Frankie will they're this kind of like weird extension of Monster Ball. They're not like they don't have Monster Ball in their name technically, but there was like a maybe a spirit Halloween costume or just a Halloween costume of Amped up Frankie, like this, this the clothes that they're wearing, but it was called Monster Ball Frankie. So I think the whole premise is like those four ghouls go to the Monster Ball and then Amped up Frankie's like performing at the dance. Um, I don't know if that's going to happen in the TV show or what, but I think like that's the whole premise behind this look. That's why it's this kind of like weird one off, you know? But yeah, I think that's why it's this weird like one off. Um, it like ties to the monster ball indirectly. So just wanted to add that. Um, OK, we're done. Leave. <laughs> please, please don't fall. OK, and then. Here is Cleo with the gorgeous Saran. It is the same tinsel that we're used to. I don't know why I thought it was different. It's the same tinsel that most Cleos or all Cleos get. And I'll take this little headdress off. They do have a middle part underneath there. So lots of styling potential. I just have their hair sort of like laying flat. I don't know if I'm going to style it or what I'm going to do with them. But I do love that we got Monster Ball Cleo. In Saran, it's it's a little wet still, so it's not as like loose and free flowing. It's drying still, but I really wanted to show them off. They're gorgeous. The tinsel still, you know, tinsel and unruly. It's the type that kind of like separates. 
into like the little plastic strands if you ever like trying to rip it out. So it's not my favorite type of tinsel, but it is pretty. And I'll be honest, I ripped out like a good amount of tinsel from this doll's hair already. Like a good amount. I'm surprised after how much I ripped out, there's still this much showing in their hair. Anytime I'm like brushing through and I get a snag, I just pull that tinsel out then and there. Um, so yeah, lots and lots of tinsel on this Clio. Just be prepared if you are someone who is like has an aversion to tinsel, you're probably going to be pulling out tinsel forever. Um, I think this doll would be great if you just kept them how they came with the little top knot, like the stock hair. But it's Saran, so it's like so fun to wash and style and play with. And I just like having Saran Cleos. And yeah, here we are. We'll compare their face up to the other one. I mean, we have some bangs covering her face, but the face up looks relatively... Now the scepter is in the way. <laughs> okay, the face-ups look relatively similar. Both really pretty. Um, but yeah, I'm going to probably keep my poly version as my default monster ball. I think these bangs are kind of fun and silly. And I don't know. Even though this is poly and my goal was to reroute it, now that I have a Saran one, I'm like, I don't even know if I need to reroute her anymore. I think she can just keep and stay the way she is. Um, I did pull a lot of tinsel out of this Cleo too, by the way. So <laughs> yeah. But that wraps it up for us today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this double feature featuring Clanky. They deserved it to have the limelight um, and share that together. Uh, if you're looking for the Saran Cleo, good luck. I'm sure you'll find her. I don't know if she's going to show up in like Target stores or if she's just going to be on Amazon for now. But I think she's fun. I'm really excited. This is such a weird thing that Mattel and Monster High did. Kind of came out of left field. And... I'm excited. I love this Saran blend. So I hope we get this on more future um, Cleo dolls and just phase out the poly completely because this is this is this should just be the standard that Mattel gives us. You know, this should be the standard. We shouldn't be over here like, oh, thanks, Mattel. Like, no, like this should be what we're getting every release. So it's like I'm twofold. Like, I'm happy that we got it. But like, I don't want to give Mattel too much credit because then it's going to go to their head, you know? So I'm like in between, <laughs> but I do love her. So I will be enjoying her and she's gorgeous. And then obviously, you know how I feel about Amped and Frankie. I would recommend them tenfold. Uh, I think the $25 price point is amazing. You get like a nice amount of accessories. The fashion is awesome. The color scheme, the execution, the saran hair, like bada bing, bada boom. They, they do it for me. I think the pink in the back, I love. I hope this isn't... Oops. I hope this isn't the last we see of this pink saran on Frankie. I really like when they get experimental with like the hair. So yeah, they are getting washed out by this lighting, but I love them. And yeah, obviously saran, gorgeous. We love it. But yeah, that does it for me today, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this comprehensive review of both of these dolls. I'm so excited that they are in my collection. I now have two Monster Ball Cleos. I never planned on it, but hey, here we are. But yeah, if you learned anything new today or had fun along the way, please like the video and subscribe if you want to hang around for more content. I have some of the, what are they? The Rainbow High New Friends dolls coming. I think it's like blue, lilac, and is it like pinkly? Pinkly. Maybe it's pinkly. Yeah, I have those dolls coming in soon and I'm going to be doing some content with them. So stay tuned. And yeah, thanks for watching. My name is Eli. This is my channel, Elijah. And until next time, bye.